Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make your very own Never Treehouse. Also, if you're new around here and you haven't already, please do consider subscribing and clicking the little bell next to the subscription button. That will make sure that you get all my videos sent directly to your sub box. Here are all of the materials that you will need to make your house. Please do make sure that you have access to all those materials and enough of them as well. And now that we have all of our stuff, we can get started. So the first thing that we are going to do is figure out how high we want our tree to be. I'm going to make mine about five blocks high. If you want to make it a bit higher, feel free. I'm going to place five crimson stems extending up from the ground. So one, two, three, four, five. On top of that, place a warped plank and place another layer of warped planks all the way around it, like this. Then place another layer of warped planks around this. It wants to go around the entire initial area. And what we should get is a five by five block area supported with the crimson stem in the middle. What we can then do is we can place all the way around on top of our platform four layers of warped planks. So one, two, three, four. And you guys are going to get the idea. We want to place four entire layers all the way around the platform. Just like this. This is going to make up the main living space. I will admit to you that it isn't a lot of living space, but it's ours. So once we have filled it all in, Perfecto. So we essentially just have kind of like a cube. It actually sort of looks like a tree itself. On the left and right sides of your house, I'm going to recommend that you take off the bottom layer of planks on the front two back parts and that you replace them with upside down stairs. It just gives a bit of a better shape to the house like this and also makes it look a little bit more like a tree actually. What we're now going to do is we're going to come to the top left hand corner of the build. Feel free to select any corner, except now that you've done this with the stairs, it's going to either be like one side or the other, but previously it was all even. But come to the top front left hand corner of your build and you want to place one, two, three warped planks extending upwards. You then want to extend to the right by two, one, two, join down. You then want to take the top two right blocks and you want to place warped planks on them, extending the one on the right upwards by an additional block like this. So you want to extend the entire side across the back of the build, so the first initial row free. You want to copy what you have on the front, so literally if you just look a little bit forwards you can just copy what you have. Um, what we also have to do is we have to make a shape on the right side of the build now. So we're going to take um, basically this back corner here and we're going to place one, two, three warped planks. We're going to extend it forwards by two rows just like this. And then you can either create a little window back here by just placing a warped plank or you can fill this in. I'm going to leave it for now. I'll, I'll see if I like it a little bit later on. And then this area, we actually have to be able to walk out of. But here's the thing, right? So I want you to take the top of this, extend it inwards, and I want you to join it to the front of the build. It might even be easier from an outside view like this. You then want to fill in underneath these two inward extending rows like this with your walked planks. And then we also have to create a floor. Now the floor I, it is basically just underneath everything that we've just made, underneath the extension which we have essentially made. So let's, let's actually pop out of our house and let's take a look at what we've done. So this looks right now a little bit crazy, right? It's, it, it looks a little bit silly. It doesn't even look as though it can become a house, but I promise you, it certainly can. So why don't we add a couple of defining features so that we can kind of see where we're going here. So the two blocks that I just destroyed weren't a coincidence. That is where the door is going to be. So make sure that these two blocks are destroyed and place yourself a warped door in those two positions, or in that one position made up by two blocks. Right of the door, leave a gap of one and create a similar space. We're going to fill this in with black stained glass pane. 
There is another window up above here, which is basically you can just fill this in with black stained glass paint, no more, uh, no more required. And on the back of the build, you can fill these two gaps in also with the black stained glass pane, just like this. Uh, you can grab your crimson fence and you can place crimson fence around this little area here. This is actually going to be a doorway. You can stick a door on it or you can leave it as is. That's kind of up to you. We have to create a roof as well. So the roof is important. We're going to be using crimson stairs for this. The roof is a little bit tricky in the fact that it's kind of like two halves. I want you to place crimson stairs on the side of the right side of the build and the side of the left side of the build. On the left side of the build it's a little bit easier because you can just kind of like follow up your little pyramid shape like this. You can stick yourself some crimson slams on the top of the build like this and then that will hopefully give you an idea of what we've got to do on this right side. So on this right side we can place crimson stairs extending upwards but then you're going to have to see that we have to place another layer of warped planks opposing the stairs We'll probably have to fill this little area in here as well where we now have a gap and then we can finish up by placing more crimson stairs so you can see how the roof goes together. Um, the roof also wants to overhang one row both on the front and the back of the build so we'll have it overhang. Uh, the same thing wants to be done with the crimson slabs as well. The back part of the roof is actually for a lack of a better term like kind of like normal it's, it's just kind of like flat on the back of the build. Um, we want to have upside down stairs underneath the overhanging part of the roof with a uh, crimson plank just made up above and that gives us a normal roof. However, on the front part of the build, it's a little bit different. So if we start off by placing our upside down stairs as one does, we have our overhanging part here, don't we? So we can also want to place our upside down stairs. There's got to be a way of doing that. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna cheat by placing uh, by destroying that block there and placing one there, perfect. And I think that what we're also going to do is we're just gonna take this top stair here and we're gonna extend it forwards like this. And then we'll also have to uh, destroy that block again. And then we place the upside down stairs underneath it. So you can see how, or maybe, hmm. I'd, actually, that actually looks kind of all right. I quite like how that looks. So that is how we are going to have the house. And again, I realize it looks a little bit goofy at the moment, but it'll actually look really, really good once we actually get to the part where, at, where, where we add the leaves, which is the never warp block. Okay, but first, now that we've added all of those details, we have to add a few more. Um, there, we have to be able to get up to the house, so I'm going to place a warped plank extending out from where the door is, and then I'm going to extend the plank to the right by two, so like one, two. I'm then going to stick a warp stair on the end, and then I'm going to place an upside down one below it. I'm going to place a warped plank to the right of it, warped stair in front, upside down stair underneath, warped plank in front, join down to the ground. Whoops, my bad. Hang on. <laughs> Miscalculated. Extend it down to the ground. It doesn't, by the way, it doesn't matter how much you have to extend it, just extend it down to the ground. Hopefully it's not in lava or magma. We were very close there. Okay, so we have to add a little bit of detail to this area. We're going to add some crimson slabs around the top of the little walkway that we have up at the top. And in addition to that, we're going to add a couple of crimson slabs just to where the actual ladder area is going to be. We're going to climb ladders up onto this point. So we can place crimson fence on top of the crimson slabs like this. We can fill all of this area in. And you can see how this slowly warps, <laughs> warps, as in warps, uh, into a really cool detailed house. So the next one that we're going to do is we're going to add the never wart and that should hopefully solidify things a little bit more for us as well. I'd recommend by adding a halo of never wart directly where the split in the house is. So the split in the house is basically the area between the windows that we have up at the top of the build and kind of like everything else. So um, hopefully you can see where that is. It's just, it's just below the fence. You guys can see what I'm on about, right? Okay. Well, the point of this never war is to make it look, and we have some examples over there, we kind of want to make it look like an actual tree. So we're going to, first of all, take the front left-hand corner, we'll extend it down a couple of blocks, and then we'll extend 
extend it outwards a couple of blocks as well. We want it to look as though that it is hanging. I was going to say we want to make it look as though the water is hanging, but that sounds disgusting. So on the right side here, we want to add a couple more warts just like this. It's going to take a little bit of personal preference as well. Um, on the upper corner here, we probably want to add some more hanging never wart in a similar manner to as we have it on the front of the house. You could even um, hang it down a little bit more if you want as well. Um, you could even extend it up a little bit too. So like you can really make it look as though that we've kind of like emerged a house in the never wart. So as we come around the back, we'll, we'll probably want to have a similar sort of thing here. I, I probably want even more, maybe even more than we've ever had at this point here. So again, you, you just kind of want to have it and it wants to look a little bit genuine. It wants to look as though that we've actually taken one of the trees and we have morphed it into a house rather than kind of like taking a house and slapping some never wart on it. I hope that you guys agree. So now that we've done that, we can add some finer details. And this doesn't mean to say that we're not going to be re uh, revisiting some of these materials because we very well might. So we need soul soil, crimson fungus, crimson trap doors, um, flower pots. I like crimson roots and warped roots, uh, shroom light. And we'll grab the ladders and then we'll talk about some other details a little bit later. So on the right side of the build, I like like the idea of having a little um, uh, like planter hanging off the side of the house. I'm placing soil in the three middle blocks just up above the stairs and this is where we need the crimson stairs again, my bad. And we're going to place upside down crimson stairs underneath the left and right sides, crimson trapdoor underneath, crimson trapdoors all the way around the soil as well. We're also going to be needing some glass too, so this is actually like a good marker for a window. And I'm going to place the crimson fungus inside here, and then we will never need those materials again, so I can just grab the black glass and we can kind of just um, chuck that in the empty space. That's looking pretty good. Might even hang a lantern above there as well, that might look nice as well. So where's, where's a lantern? I can't, I can't get enough of lanterns, quite honestly. And, and yeah, it's actually quite a nice position for a lantern as well. Um, ladders, where do we want ladders? So here, where we have the stairs area, um, we want a set of ladders that leads us up onto here. Um, where else where may want... Where? What? Where? <laughs> I'm malfunctioning. Where else may one want ladders? That's a hard sentence say very quickly. So, um, in the back corner of the build on the left side is where I would recommend having the ladders, and that will allow us to get up onto the second floor, just like this. Um, and, and also drop down. Perfect. So, that's where you're going to want ladders in those positions. I'd recommend using some shroom light, sparingly, inside of the leaves. So, maybe like one here on the um, right side, maybe like one built in here, and maybe even just one here as well. Just kind of like built in, it adds a little bit of light to the build. I really like it. Um, if you want, if you like lanterns, if you have a fascination like me, you might want to chuck one on this fence here, and then I'd probably leave it. I like the idea of having flower pots on the fence that we have and placing crimson roots and warped roots. I also like the idea of having the same configuration next to the actual door, so where we would actually enter. So other than that, we just have to add a little bit of detail underneath our treehouse, and of course we do have to do the inside, and I am missing one material which is really annoying. Let's do it. So we need crimson fence, we need chains, and we need lanterns, but we also need, and this, this really does add to the build, so I, I wouldn't recommend skipping it, weeping vines. So. I would basically just pepper the underside of your house in with weeping vines. You don't you you don't really have to like build them up at all. They'll kind of like build themselves up, which is the cool part about them. Can they be placed on the stairs? No, they cannot. Silly me. So underneath the house as well, I'd recommend having some hanging lanterns. So the way that I like it, I like to add a couple of chains. Probably destroy the weeping first. So had have a couple of chains, fence. My bad. It's hard to place it onto the chain. 
There we go. And then a lantern. I'm specifically, I know that you guys might be like, why aren't you using the new lanterns? I think that the orange ones contrast better against the green. And, well, it's not really green. It's kind of like a cyan color or a teal. Um, I think that it contrasts nicely against it rather than the blue. It's just more blue. Um, I'm going to have the same sort of thing uh, along the back here somewhere. So, you know what, I'm... This one, this block, and then I'll place a weeping vine there. So, a couple of chains. You can even, like, um, maybe three chains. Not to be confused with the wrapper two chains. And then, crimson fence. Lantern. That that hits the floor, which looks a little bit silly. Um, but you guys get the idea. But, yeah, I, I think that that looks really, really cool. And that leaves but one thing, and ladies and gentlemen, typically speaking, I, I go away and I kind of like decorate the houses by myself, but this house is actually so small that I'm very comfortable just showing you guys um, the sort of space that you have inside here just right away. So, inside the house, it's, it's a very, very small area. You can't get a lot in here, so it's going to be just kind of like a little touch point for the never. It's, you're not going to want to spend a lot of time here, I should imagine. You might even want to keep some more valuable things in here, but a, a crafting table, a furnace, you can fit a double chest up above them. You could even have uh, a lantern for some light, an item frame. Um, against this wall here, I like the idea of having wart planks, a double chest up above, in this little crevice here, I like the idea of just having an anvil, just for some basic repairs. And maybe, I mean, we could even have like an anvil and then something else useful as well. I mean, we could have like another furnace if we wanted to, or you could have any one of the tables, or perhaps you are in a particular need for food. It doesn't really matter, like you can use this area for whatever you like. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, you can add a little window as well, by the way, um, on this side, depending upon how you feel once you're in here, but that pretty much does it. Up here, the only thing that I plan on placing up here, I well, two things. Number one, I like the idea of hiding an ender chest, and number two, I like the idea of keeping a set of armor here, so depending upon what sort of armor you have, and like I said, you might want to use this as a bit more of a safe house, due to the fact that... Um, you know, it's a, it's a little bit more of a limited space, but I like the idea of having like an ender chest kind of the, no, uh, kind of hidden away here. Like it's not something that you're immediately going to see because if you have an armor stand and then you outfit said armor stand, then you can't really even see the ender chest, but you can indeed click it if need be. Um, you can even make the roof look a little bit better if you want to place some upside down stairs. Uh, you can even destroy Ah, oh, we might even leave that block there, actually. You can leave it like that. You could even have a little bit of hidden storage as well, if you want to bring a little bit of the end into the nether. Um, maybe something colourful, like um, white shulker box, or maybe like, a, again, it could even add a little bit more light up here as well. There's really not too much, like, you can't customise it too much. But again, if you wanted to add another window as well, you, you can definitely easily do that. And honestly, I mean, you know, there's a... That's, that's sort of it, like it's a really small house, but uh, let's let's take a look around it now that we've decorated it. So this is what your Never Tree House will look like once it has been 100% fully completed. As you can see, we have incorporated a lot of the new Never Blocks into the tree house. I think it looks absolutely at home down here. I really love the design, it's quite unique. It's incredibly colourful, actually, and I love all of the new blocks and how it incorporates them. I really, really do enjoy this. I, I hope that you guys do as well. Um, on the inside, you can see that we have enough room, of course, for a crafting table, a furnace, two double chests, an anvil, and any sort of other block of our choice. Um, upstairs, we have the set of Neverite armor, kind of like just hidden away, and we have a cheeky little lander chest in the back. And if we look up, we also have our shulker and our lantern. Sneaky. I do hope that you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please do remember to hit that like button as it really helps me and the channel out very, very much. If you're new around here, please do consider subscribing and clicking the little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all my videos sent directly to your sub box. And if you do want to make anything else by me, check out the con system description below at the top of the comment section for more. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all very much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.